Another one of the features of infinite design is the uh, symmetry, or what other people call mirroring. And if you go into menu and then click on the symmetry manager, which looks like the butterfly, uh, you can actually, there's five different types of symmetry. We have x-axis symmetry, y-axis symmetry, angular, radial, and kaleidoscopic. Now let me just walk through a few with you real quick. Let's go to y-axis symmetry. This will be ideal for like facial uh, drawing, uh, where you can draw one side of the face and it'll draw the other one for you. Uh, one of the um, attributes is merge paths. And what this defines is once you cross over the axis, do the paths actually uh, merge together? And uh, this is convenient for when you're using alphas, uh, because if you don't merge the paths, then they'll actually overlay each other. And so let me give you an example right quick. So you see how they don't overlay each other? And I'm going to turn it off just so that you can see what happens when they do. So you'll see how they overlay each other. Um, like if they're drawn on top of each other. So it depends on what you want to do, but I prefer personally to merge the paths. And so we can actually, you can drag the canvas over and then just start drawing on one side. Let's just draw just like an eye over here just to give you a basic idea of how this works. Okay, and then we can zoom out and you'll notice that it drew an eye on the other side as well. Okay. So that's basic y-axis symmetry. You can move the uh, axis of symmetry by holding down on it and then moving the line over. Okay. Another one of the symmetries is angular symmetry. And you can draw the line, the angle, when you first bring it in, after you first choose which ang the angular symmetry, and then it'll draw upon that angle. Now if you want to re if you want to move the angle, you can just hold down on it. You can just hold down on it and then move it. Or if you want to actually create a new angle, you can hold down on it like you're going to move it and then just do two fingers to create the angle. And so now we have a new angle to do the symmetry based off of. Another symmetry that we have is radial symmetry and this is actually what most people's favorite symmetries is. Um, it can make nice little flowery patterns or star-like patterns which are, is nice. So, very simple to use. As you draw one stroke, it draws all ten other ones for you. So, nice little, really simple. Just to give you an idea. If you want to move the, uh, the pivot point, you can just hold down on it and move it somewhere else. And then you'll see that you can continue on. And then the last one, of course, is kaleidoscopic symmetry which is, let's do it, which is convenient for drawing either snowflakes or star-like patterns. And um, if you want to move it, hold down the center, just like you do on the, uh, the radial to move it. And if you want to, um, if you want to rotate it, then you can just two fingers to rotate.